Aloha friends, I just made bagels that are completely carnivore and they have protein sparing modified fast ratios. If you don't know what that is, check it out. I have a lot of videos about that. It means it's great for fat loss. Um, but before we get started, my name is Maria Ebrick. I'm a nutritionist who specializes in the ketogenic and carnivore diet and I've been helping people transform their lives for over 20 years. So come jump in the kitchen and you must try these carnivore bagels. Aloha friends. So to make the protein sparing carnivore bagels, um, they're super duper easy, but you're going to want to use a scale because we're going to weigh our ingredients because it's kind of technical. All right. So I'm going to turn my scale on. And when I put this on here, it's going to obviously weigh something and I'm going to like, uh, turn it back to zero because now I want it to be zero. And then I'm going to use water and we want 550 grams of water. So we're in, we're in the wrong unit. Nope. There's, we have grams. All right. I have to grab some more. We're at a little over 400. We want 550. There we go. Just about perfect. So 550 grams of water is going to go into the blender. Okay, and now we are going to add 80 grams of gelatin. So I'm using further food gelatin. And yes, this costs a little bit more, but you get a huge tub. So I suggest you get this. It's made from grass fed uh, pasture raised animals. So I love this gelatin and we want 80 grams of that. I'm going to just dry this because otherwise it's going to stick. It's okay if it sticks, but I don't want to waste any dry this out and we're going to add 80 grams. Oh, I went way over. I'm at a hundred. We want 80 grams at 91 and we're making bagels with this recipe. Oh, perfect. But you could also make crepes. You can make wraps, egg, egg wraps, whatever you want. That's going to go on into there. And now we have back to zero and we're going to use 120 grams of egg white protein. And is there a scoop in there? Probably not. So 120 grams of that. And we are at 43, 6. Ooh, a little bit more. There. There. Okay. And I'm going to add that to the mixture. And then we want two and a half grams of salt. And I'm just going to salt to my eyeball. <laughs> two and a half grams. So if you want to measure it, go for it. I'm not that picky. And then we are going to blend this on up. Oh, we got an error. Here we go. And have a spatula so you can scrape the sides down. <laughs> Here we go. Make sure you get all that mixed in there. There. And I'm going to grease a bagel pan. And I only have, only have mini bagel pans here, but they will work. And this is a very dense bagel. Um, when I first made them, I was like, oh, they're too dense. But Craig and everybody was like, well, bagels are really dense. So this is more like a bagel that you're used to on a non, on your the standard American diet. But I'm just going to pour these on in here. You can see how thin it is. If you let it sit overnight, it's going to gum up. Gelatin will gum up. But um, what you can do is uh, heat it up, whether make, making crepes with it, and that will melt the gelatin again. So that will, that will work if you want to do that. But it's not a batter you want to make ahead of time. So I filled these about three-fourths full, and they are going to pop over like crazy. I'm going to put them into a 325 degree oven for about 20 minutes, and I'll show you what that looks like in the oven. Okay, the moment of truth. At 325 degrees for about 20 minutes, you have bagels. See how they puffed up? 
I'm going to leave them in there for a few more minutes before I slice them. Okay, my friends, as good as the carnivore bagels are, I had my family try them. And my husband said, you know, if someone wasn't a strict carnivore, if you put the everything bagel seasoning on it, it would be a lot like a bagel. So here we're going to do another round. I'm going to pour the bagel batter into the mold. And then I'm going to top them with the bagel seasoning. And I did experiment by adding just a few more grams of the gelatin and the dried egg whites just to see if they didn't shrink anymore and still had a good flavor. So this is my experiment number two. Because the past few times I've been making them, they, they're good, but they shrink. I don't really like that. I want them to stay nice and puffy. So there we have our bagels and I'm gonna just dump that on in there. And this is just the Trader Joe's brand. I'm probably the only person that doesn't like this seasoning. <laughs> I prefer it to be plain. I don't know what it is, sesame, something like that. So I'm gonna put that back into the oven for about 20 minutes. And I did notice that when I shut the oven off after 23 minutes and leave it in there, they didn't shrink as much. So that's gonna be another thing I will include in the recipe. So into the oven they go. So while the everything bagel seasoning bagel cook, um, these are completely cool. And once they are, you can slice them and we're gonna put some protein sparing cream cheese on them. You can put whatever you want on them, but it's really like soft and tender on the inside. There might be some holes and stuff, but it's all good. And the cream cheese, protein sparing or regular, whatever you want. I know, bring on the fat, everybody. <laughs> and then you have like an easy little breakfast and these freeze well, so you can freeze these if you want to. Um, but a totally carnivore bagel that's super delicious. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends to show them how delicious the carnivore lifestyle will be. But when Kai gets home from camp, we're gonna have him try these. Oh. Hey Kai, how was Hi. camp today? Uh, good. I see you're a little sweaty on your nose. Yeah. What'd you do today? Walking, we actually... <laughs> walking. Yeah, we did walking, we went sculpting. Oh, because you're in art class, right? Yeah. We did sculpting, and we also went... We did K-bar. That means kick back and relax. Kick back and relax. I think we all need to do that a little bit, huh? Yeah. We also did... Went to the Challenge Forest. Oh. It's like the Titanic when it rocks. Kai, and I used to work there. You were like on a balance beam. And you had to get it to balance, right? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get a surveillance? We uh, tried to get a record, but no. No. At the camp. We did it for 30 uh, minutes. 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. Or seconds? Minutes. Oh. Yeah, we played a game while we were on it called Mafia. That's a very long time. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I ever had a group do it that long, but I'm very proud of you. And now we're going to have snack time. Not that we do usually snacks, but here we go. Yeah. We have carnivore bagels, and check it out. Like the. Everything bagel seasoning, mm -hmm. amazing. But I put some cream cheese on those for you. Would you try them and tell us what you think? Yes. Mm. It's really good. It's really good? Well, thank you, Kai. And don't forget, Further Food is so generous. If you use code Maria Mind Body, you save big time. So check it out and make the bagels. And if you do make them, please tag me on social media because I love seeing your pictures and share this video with one of your friends yeah. to show them how delicious carnivore eating can be. Good with your kids. <laughs> Bye everybody. If you wanna change your life, like I've changed mine with food, I would be honored to help you. Many of you don't know that I was twice my size. I had acid reflux. I had PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. I had depression. I had IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome and food changed my life. And not only did that happen, I get to eat good food, right? Good food. 
So if you want to eat good food, have perfected meal plans made by me, and personal help with supplements or modifications, if you have Hashimoto's, if you have uh, Graves, if you have IBS, if you have PCOS, contact me. I would be honored to help you. Um, you can go to keto-adapted.com and find a lot of different options there for personalized help or message me uh, by commenting below on this YouTube video or you can check me out at mariamindbodyhealth.com. Mahalo.